it's Saturday morning, we've been back a few days, started work on repairing the damage to our garden in five or six weeks when I don't think it's been watered and although there's rain, not enough. I haven't shut the roof on my car for a couple of months, unfortunately. I think we had a bit of rain last night. It certainly looks stormy today. So I'm going to shut the roof and hope it isn't after the horse has bolted. Sadly, this is uh, quite familiar this summer. It was a wet spring and maybe it's going to be a wet September. Let's hope not. Unfortunately, we put washing on the line yesterday afternoon and left it there last night. At least I got the dying roof shut. midday. We are in Gayak today in search of the Grenier. No vegan yet. It's complete without a plate of chips. Although this time we had to come to a cafe to find some. Officer standing on that balcony checking people coming in. The last couple of times we've been here, this has been covered in scaffolding, so it's lovely to see it as it would have been. That's the Tarn River. And these are all the merchants' houses and warehouses the other side of the bridge.
is Lozette, another of the most beautiful villages in France. And we've come here for coffee and a croissant for breakfast. Because all the boulangeries are shut, so we're at a cafe. We've realised we've been here almost two years and have never actually shown inside our home. I will say that we've already started to empty it because we plan to be leaving here in a few months so it's not as homely as it used to be. This is what we call the boot room. This is our main front door. And there's Dottie asleep. The kittens are actually the vet today so being uh, sterilised so they're not here at all. This is our sitting room. It was very cold and dark. No, not cold. It was very dark and unwelcoming when we first came. We've had the wood burner now since just before Christmas last year and it's made an awfully big difference. A very, very big difference. And now this is a nice room to spend evenings in no matter what the season. Here is the kitchen. Again, it was quite dark, so you can see we've got lots of lights, which we have to have on no matter what the season, because it is just, it's cool-ish in the summer because of it, because of being dark. We only get the sun in the morning and then it disappears. For the rest of the day, that's our view of the chateau. Here is our utility room with washing machine, toilet and the hot water and our gas and a spare bottle. Here are stairs with the abnormally high bottom step which catches everyone out. bedroom much bigger than we need we only come up here go to sleep get up in the morning and leave so we don't have any clothes in here just some of the uh, bed clothes I think but we just very rarely use just open these windows show you the view our garden Combine harvesters are harvesting the maize at the moment. It came last night but broke down. This is Lou's room. dressing room, come sitting room for Lou.
We have no idea why he does this. Good morning. I'm out on a ride today along a Vavet, which is an old disused railway line, same as we have in England. Look at this. How is that for being civilised? There is water here. I don't know how you keep it. It says it's drinking water for cyclists. Isn't that civilised? It's, as you can see, it's a lovely day. First day of autumn. Uh, yeah, lovely. It'll be the last day of summer. It's the 21st of September. It is, I don't know, low 20s. Very warm. Slight southerly wind. A bit of a headwind now. And hopefully I'll get a tail on the way home. The only criticism I have of these love it is that uh, they don't go through any villages or anything and given that the French back roads are really quiet anyway these are less interesting shall we say but they are dead straight and very flat and today it's just an easy run this bridge has only just been constructed the old railway bridge was demolished and they've just built that in the last few months this one, on the other hand, has been here a while, as you can see by the wrought ironwork. And I presume that factory was here once because of that river. You can see a dam in it up there. So it must have been a water-powered mill. Most of the crops are in, apart from the grapes. And the land is getting ready for its winter rest and next spring's growth. Here's some sunflowers waiting to be harvested. A lot of marine, but uh, these aren't. Can't be long though. I've taken a slight detour from the railway line. We uh, enjoy, if that's the word, the ride up to Le Trek along this nice piece of uh, very scenic road that I've driven lots of times but never cycled. I know it's a bit of a cliche. But there are roads like this all over France. I've turned back onto the Wavet and I'll stay on this I think until the last final hill climb to get home again.